lot of us on YouTube who actually have the guts to put our face up here and let the world criticize us when I when I only think it's just probably like this. It's probably less than twenty percent of the people on YouTube is haters. Or there's eighty percent of the people on YouTube are haters. It's only twenty percent of us doing videos of any kind of substance. So last year I'll let people know you've been tubed. And you know I'm going to start differentiating. I'm going to have to start differentiating myself a little bit further from certain people. It's because sometimes when I try to leave people a message, and I was thinking about this, what am I? If this was 15 BC, I would be a philosopher or a prophet because I have the power to speak what's in my head. Even though I have a simple vocabulary, not all geniuses were labeled college uh, magnum cum laude. You know what I mean, or whatever the hell they call that that damn PhDs and and and, and, and uh, was masters and what's that about? I have a masters and what? It's people with master de masters degrees walking the streets, hungry, homeless right now. A master's degree. For what? What are you? What am I? And I think I'm I'm a philosopher. Because how the hell can I look at everything from other people's perspective and come up with a perspective that I'm not gonna say I'm I'm in the middle, I'm kissing everybody's ass to prove one point. How does that work? What what are you? Sit here and tell your stories and people are like, man, you right, you telling the truth and they still go out and do dumb shit. See, we, those who can sit in front of the camera and tell the truth, are living in the wrong time period. Because this shit around here, this, these, this, these things that go down in, uh, in the world around us, that's, that's not humanity. That, that is chaos. We are living in chaos. And we are the philosophers of chaos. We are the light in bad times. People say, man, I'm feeling shitty. I'll come talk to you, man. I'll be feeling better. My friend came all the way from Arizona, man. We sat and talked, and she, he, he talked, and he's like, man, like, battery's charged now. I'm ready to go. And what am I? We were wrong. People might call my, my psychic. She told me a long time ago when I had a psychic. You're a battery, man. You charge people. There's only so many people on the planet Earth that charge people. People people are empowered by us. And I don't know, I don't know what she meant by that, but I noticed that. I say some stuff on YouTube and it can be completely idiotic. They love it. I say some shit that makes some sense, the video goes nowhere. And then I, I see all these other videos about how we're supposed to be dumb and how 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 the the haves have been dumbing down the half knots since the pyramids. I'm like, what happened to all those philosophers like Plato and you know, the other motherfucker? I mean, where is the motherfuckers? Sigmund Freud, the you know, what, psychiatrist. Where are all these great thinkers? All these great thinkers are being hidden in plain sight. If you say something and somebody else having a bad day understands it, and they tune themselves, it's like, like a knob. Somebody tune the knob to the left, and you're feeling better. Just on somebody's words. How does that work? And then you look at TV. I'm watching Maury. The woman's shaking her head because of the baby daddy. And you know what's going to happen. Mister, you are not. And then you got her looking like, <sighs> what led her to that situation? To where it's back in the days, way back in the days when, it, when we still had fur all over our bodies, when we first start becoming human beings, when we first start walking, when a man got with a woman, we seen it on the on the Discovery Channel, didn't you? 
little two little furry human pants or whatever walking together. And then they and they're trying to touch the, the baby. Now so I gotta go to work, get him to school, argue with each other all day. See love on TV. You see hate on TV. But then the love is always broke up by some drama, some mystery bullshit. What are we if we allow ourselves not to think? I thought about this. We're not freeing nothing. Back in the day, way back in the day, when you didn't have a department store, didn't nobody care if you walked around with some homemade shoes on. Remember mama and daddy? Great, great grandma and all them was talking about fish fries and the community getting together. I don't like these motherfuckers down the street. Oh, look at the Mexicans over there. These black guys are going to try to steal something. What happened to all that unity shit we was hearing growing up? What happened to it? If people was growing into a happy mode, then what the fuck happened? What am I on this motherfucking YouTube? Now, I have to raise up and use my voice because this is the voice and the language they teach me. This is what I was taught. This is how I was taught to speak growing up. And then when I do videos, that video was mighty powerful. I could use something like that. But without all the cursing. The mind is still the same. But after ask me to speak something else, you don't think I could speak something else because you've heard me curse. I had that same problem when I called myself a professional DJ. You're not going to play any of that rap, are you? I play what you tell me to play. I'm a DJ. Once upon a time, if you hired a man to be the court jester, he going to tell the jokes. Now when you hire the court jester, you don't want him to tell jokes about you. I was working at their restaurant one time. These guys had a Western thing come in, a 75-year-old guy's birthday, and they had a John Wayne. Yeah, a John Wayne came in. And this John Wayne's telling these Mexican jokes, you see. And then I walk across the room and says, hey, and this one must be further from south of the border. Everybody in the room broke out laughing. We had a Mexican restaurant, Mexicans all around, and these people had the audacity to bring a fake ass John Wayne coming in. But John Wayne was known for being a racist. A lot of people say, no, John Wayne was a hero. No, a lot of a lot of people say he was a racist. But you have a John Wayne comedian come in. I was 30, like 36 years old. And for me to see that show, I'm like, God damn, maybe John Wayne was a racist. See how that see how someone else's form of what something should be or shouldn't be guides us in society. Now I believe, damn, John Wayne was a racist. He called me a Mexican from South the South he's far South from farther the border. I mean, this shit was so funny, it was humiliating me. But hey, they paid for the space. Mexican people who were working there, and I'm saying it in a racist manner, because um, I don't like when people say Mexican people. The people that were working there, you know, they was working. They hearing this shit and they're like, oh God. And you and, and everybody loving it. It's comedy. But I remember what they used to say about John Wayne. What am I on this YouTube? What happened to the unity? We were supposed to be growing together. You got a race of people and a race of people, yeah, we were in slave. Ooh, slavery. Slavery wasn't shit. It's the rape in Africa was bigger than the slavery. You can take every motherfucking person off a continent and leave a handful left. But once you take the continent, you take the people. So fuck what you think you know about me. So I only got a few more seconds on this one. What am I on this YouTube? We're supposed to be all unified and life should be changed and shit. And when you talk about positivity, people think you fucked up. I'm going to stop tubing people. You will no longer enjoy you been tubed. Motherfuckers don't deserve to get tubed. And when I think you get tubed, I'm going to tube you every now and then. But since I'm spitting knowledge, wisdom, and shit, I want people to learn what I'm saying. Or else I can stop talking completely. From now on out, when I'm finished talking, I want the next person to pass it on.